This video is sponsored by GamePrint. GamePrint gives you the ability to 3D print your customized Star Trek online ship with your own ship name and number. Hello everyone, it's Zeph Films here with another visual review. Uh, this one was requested a couple of weeks ago during, um, during one of the videos, the live playthrough of a visual review video, and somebody wanted to see a visual review on the Jemadar Vanguard Carrier. And after some grinding, I did it. <laughs> Here it is. I love, 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 love the design of this ship. It is just, oh man, it is just an amazing looking ship. And um, you're probably wondering if you're newer, uh, how I have this on my Federation character. And I will explain all of that and all the goodies that come with this ship. And then, of, as always, we will go to the ship tailor and take a look at the visualization options. And I might do a little bit of pew-pew with the ship. And then we'll go to the Solanay Dyson Sphere and go through all the shields. Uh, but first, let's take care of the stat stuff the, in regards to this ship. All right, so as you can see, Jem'Hadar Vanguard Carrier T6. Now, this is a ship that um, you purchase on a Jem'Hadar character. And we're going to start talking about the mastery stuff first. So in order to unlock this ship to use on other factions such as uh, Federation or KDF, uh, you need to go through uh, T5, T6 mastery on your Jem'Hadar character. So there was a couple of days where I was just playing patrols after patrols after patrols, just leveling this thing up, getting a good feel for it too. And once you hit the tier six mastery, this allows you to play this ship on other, um, on other uh, factions. So as you see, I'm hovered over it right now. And account wide reclaim unlock uh, removes faction restrictions. Uh, complete this tier of Starship Mastery to be allowed to claim this Starship on any character on this account. So I think that's actually an amazing thing. Um, let's talk about this ship a little bit. So this is, as you can see by the science consoles, this is um, geared towards science characters. Um, it's a 4-3. It does not have a secondary uh, deflector slot, although it is heavy on the science consoles. Uh, so yeah, actually, sorry, not 4-3, it's a 4-2. So four weapons forward, two aft. Uh, we have three device slots, two engineering console slots, five science console slots, four tactical console slots, and two hangar pets, or hangar bays. Um, as you can see at the bottom of the screen here, it also does come with the, uh, the wingmen, uh, so alpha and beta. Uh, those have been really cool. <laughs> Um, the console that it comes with is called Linked Command Matrix. Uh, when you have this slotted, you get plus 6.5% maximum hull capacity and plus 2.5% critical chance with energy weapons. Uh, when you select this button, uh, you summon a heavy attack craft and summon a heavy attack craft to aid you in battle. Uh, heavy attack craft gear has uh, Polaron dual beam banks, Polaron beam arrays, and quantum torpedoes. And there is a 1 minute 30 second recharge on that. Um, now, we're going to pause the stats and I'm going to activate the console. So you can see here that is the deploy heavy attack craft. So let's get rid of that and press 1. And what's going to happen? Watch this back part. There it is. So when you're out in battle, you can have this flying behind you. You can have your two wingmen. And let's talk about the hangar bay. So this comes with uh, two hangar bays. They're called uh, Jim Hadar Vanguard Gunboats. And they're pretty resilient. Um, I did not have a lot of issues with them blowing up on me. Like they, they, they can take a hit. Um, so when you press the button, you launch um, one at a time. So you can have a you can have a max of four, as you see down here. So if we press those two, you see we launch one. You can see it over there on the left side of the screen. Uh, let me see if I can just 
get rid of that. There it is, there. The side of the screen. It's kind of hard to zero in on it, but. All right, so these things have Polaron dual beam banks, Polaron, Polaron beam array, Polaron beam array, quantum torpedoes, beam fire at will one, attack pattern lambda one, evasive burst one, uh, which gives them a, pre a brief increase to flight speed, turn rate, and defense, and chance to initiate ramming speed when below 50% health. Um, so yeah, I would not disappointed with these guys at all. Um, so yeah, when you're out and about in uh, battle, you have you can have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven essentially combat pets with you, um, helping out and wrecking stuff. So really, really cool. The mastery that comes on this ship is called Dampen Energy Signatures. Um, this affects hangar pets. Uh, so after you activate an Intel Bridge Officer ability or mask energy si uh, signature uh, your hangar pets get for 10 seconds plus five percent bonus all damage minus 50 percent threat generation plus 4000 stealth and plus 15 defense rating so yeah um could be helpful especially uh, that could be a, a useful trait for um any hangar or any carrier ship that you're using um, uh, with the new character because it's engineering, I think I'm going to might be going with a support tank craft with hangar bays and all that. So I, that might be something that I grind out for. Looking at the stations, we have a Lieutenant Universal Station, a Lieutenant Commander Tactical Station, an Ensign Engineering Station, a Commander Science Station, and a Lieutenant Commander Science slash Intel station. So yeah, really, really, really cool ship. Uh, let's bring that pet back in. Watch him swoop in and dock. Really, really cool. Um, and I have shown off the, uh, the Jem'Hadar bridge, I believe in a different uh, Jem'Hadar visual review video so it's the standard Jem'Hadar bridge um, but yeah let's go to the ship tailor and take a look at the skin options <laughs> there's there's some that I actually really like uh, but yeah let's go look at that now all right so here we are uh, you might notice that the background music is a little bit different we are on deep space nine I thought that the background for the ship tailor would have changed but it did not so uh, as you can see under template, we only have one template, with, which is uh, carrier. Uh, interior, it comes, and this is the only one that you can use, is the uh, standard Jem'Hadar um, interior. Uh, let's take a look at windows, and let's move it to right there so we can see a lot of windows. Uh, so it's defaulted to type 5. Let's go to type 1. Ooh, not bad. Type 2. Eh. Type 3, oh, that looks pretty cool. Type 4, and Type 5. I like the Type 5 because it goes with the purple, but that's just me. Uh, let's leave the ship like that because we got on the right side, we're getting a nice shine. So we'll be able to see uh, some of the. Oof. Yeah, we'll leave it right there so we can see the color changes. Uh, so we're defaulted to Jem'Hadar Type 8. Uh, let's start at the top. Jem'Hadar Type 1. Type 2. Darker purple. Type 3. Actually, let's just select that and move this around a little bit. Oh, okay. We get a better look right there. Type 3. Type 4. Type 5. Type 5 looks pretty cool. Type 6. Type 7. Type 7 looks really nice. This is one of the ones that I like. But this Type 8 that it comes with is just phenomenal. Um, and then we have Upgrade, which looks pretty cool. And then we have Veteran, which also looks uh, pretty cool on here. I love the, the color change when the light hits it. That is really cool. Uh, but let's put it to back to Type 8. Um, 
not really any uh, pieces that we can swap out. But because I am on holodeck, uh, we can uh, upload this for 3D printing. So if you would like a 3D print of this ship, I will have a link for it down below in the description and use code Zephfilms, 10% off. And uh, while this uploads, I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, GamePrint. GamePrint gives you the ability to obtain a one-of-a-kind, high-quality Star Trek Online ship with your name and number. You either upload a ship directly from the game, or pick one from thousands of available variations. The ships are offered in multiple sizes and finishes. Prices start from $19.99. Use a coupon code in the description and get 10% off your next order. All right, so let's go. Um, let's go do some pew pew stuff. Uh, yeah, let's go do that now. All right, so here we are in. Actually, we're just gonna change a couple of things here real quick. All right, so let's launch our pets. Let's launch our. So there, there is a. Um, there is separate buttons to help you control uh, what your um, what your wingmen do. Uh, so there's alpha and beta. Um, so there's these buttons here. So structural reinforcement maneuver. Uh, you can target friendly or uh, yourself. And for 15 seconds, you instruct the alpha or the beta um, to follow the target. Uh, so if you if you select your teammate and you press this button, it'll follow them and um, They'll stay within two kilometers Or while they're within two kilometers uh, Either yourself or the person on your team that you've targeted will get plus 25% shield resistance and plus 1950 hit points every second and over here we have divergent shield maneuvering uh, you this one is for your target so when you select a target and you press this button when they're within two kilometers of your target your target gets minus 25 percent shield resistance and minus 750 all shield each section and then we have the last one um, which targets foe you instruct the alpha or beta to fly towards target from your location uh, to target in a 45 degree cone, they deal uh, 1,967.8 Polaron damage. And then we have this button at the end, which is uh, Link Jem'Hadar Wingman Maneuvers. Um, it links the maneuvers powers that both wingmen will perform the same maneuver simultaneously. My god, I can't talk. Uh, wingman must be available. So, let's go... Oh, we see our pets are already out, getting things done. Let's send them to do that. Send that one to do that. I mean, really, I don't think we have to do anything. <laughs> now, mind you, this is one of like the very beginning missions in the game, but you get a good idea. Um, I'm going to bring this back in. Because I just want to show you the maneuverability. I thought this thing was going to turn so slow. But it act for a carrier, it's not that bad. Mind you, it's not that bad because lately I have been doing Into the Breach with a Universe class, so anything at this point turns really good. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's that's the battle stuff that I wanted to show off. Uh, let's go to the Solene Dyson Sphere and uh, take a look at the shields on this thing. Uh, let's go do that now. Alright, so here we are in the Solene Dyson Sphere. Here's a better look at this ship under some proper lighting. Uh, unfortunately, we are stuck with the Alpha and Beta uh, wingman ship, so we will just kind of have to play around them. Um, but yeah, I just, I really, really do love the design of this ship. It's just, it's so sleek and it's just, it's just really, really good. Um, 
I think I might have to add this to my 3D print collection, to be totally honest. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, though, uh, this is a Zen ship. So this is available from the Z store. It is 3000 Zen. Uh, if you have the 50% off coupon that you got from buying one of the uh, C store bundle ships, like the uh, the Earheart and the Sash, um, that came with a coupon. You can use that coupon towards uh, the ship. So I got this for 1500 Zen. Well worth the money. And really, I bought it. At first, I just bought it for the visual review, and then I was actually having a lot of fun, and I might end up using this ship a bit more in my day-to-day -day playing. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's jump into shield visuals uh, now. All right, here's the Discovery Legends shield array. I really wish there was a way to just recall those wingmen, but oh well. This skin looks really good on there, or shield rather. Uh, next shield, the T6 Discovery Reputation Vanity Shield. Also looking pretty good. Next shield, the Adapted Mako Shield Array. That looks pretty sharp too. Oof. I think a lot of these shields are gonna look good on here. That's my hope, at least. That looks really good. <laughs> Next shield. The Omega Force T5 Shield Array. Also not too bad. Uh, Next shield. The T6 Omega Force Shield Array. So pretty much the same thing as before, just everything is purplish, which actually works really well for the ship. But I didn't mind the, the yellow accents, like the yellow gold-ish accents that were on the ship. It kind of contrasted a little bit, which looked uh, kind of unique. Next shield, the Borg Assimilated Shield Array. Not bad. It looks appropriately assimilated. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at the three piece. All right, so here's the three piece. There's the deflector. Let's zoom in here. So the, the deflector definitely looks out of place. A lot of it is clipping at this nose piece here. Um, if we go to the back, yeah, the part that usually goes on the top of the cells is just clipped all the heck there. You can see it there on the right wing. And then the impulse engine piece is tucked away inside the belly here. So. Yeah, there we go. Uh, next shield, the Nukara T5 shield array. Huh. Kind of interesting. Next shield. Here's the T6 Nukara Reputation Vanity Shield. I don't mind it, though the top part here looks really, really noisy, so I don't know about this one, but eh. Next shield. Here's the Riemann Shield Array. Very interesting. Also, I don't mind it on this ship either. Huh. Next shield. Here's the Romulan Shield Array. This is the T5 Reputation Shield Array. Not bad. I don't know. Purple and green is kind of weird, but it slightly works. <laughs> I don't know. Next shield. Here's the T6 Vanity Shield. Uh, Romulan Riemann Vanity Shield. And I kind of dig it. 
Actually, I really dig it. It looks really cool. Next shield. The Dyson Shield Array. Ooh. Definitely looks really nice on this ship, too. That looks really good. Really, really good. It's a ni nice contrasting deep purple and then the white parts on the hull. Looks really good. Next shield. Here's the tier 6 Dyson Vanity Shield. Also works because it has that purple um, color to it. it. It actually really goes with this ship. Wow. That's a hard one to pick between those two. The T5 and the T6 uh, Dyson Shields. That's, wow, okay. All right, next shield. The Counter Command T5 Shield Array. Lots of polka dots on the bottom. And as I always see in the, uh, the comments during the uh, live stream of this video, Cobra. <laughs> I think there's too many polka dots here for me personally. Hmm. Next shield. Here is the T6 Counter Command uh, Vanity Shield. Again, lots of polka dots. Lots of polka dots on the bottom. And they kind of stick out on the top too. The polka dots bother me. Again, this is all subjective though. Next shield. The Delta Alliance T5 Shield Array. Oh, that looks so good. That looks really, really, really good. Oh, I can't wait to get to the Terran. Oh, man. But yeah, this looks amazing. Ooh, dear lord. That looks really good. There's going to be a lot of Zephgasms in this video. Next shield. Here's the T6 um, Delta Vanity Shield. Mind fart there for a second. This one looks pretty good, too. Just, I love this ship design so much. I think this might be my favorite Gemadar design. Next shield. Here's the Iconian T5 shield array. I think we found a shield that I don't like. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if the T6 will look any better. Here's the T6. Iconian Vanity Shield. Um, maybe a little bit. I think it looks a little bit better than the T5. Um, but the swirlies kind of, the swirly lines just kill it for me. Because down the side, we have. If you see this red line that's going across, it's a hard, sharp red line. But then we have these swirly purple lines all over the place, which. I don't know. I don't know. Next shield. Oh, holy shit. Oh, the T5 Terran Task Force shield array. Holy crap. What? Oh, yes, please. That right there is a Zephgasm. Next. I don't even want to change shields, but I have to. Next shield. Here is the T6 uh, Terran Task Force Vanity Shield. Uh, doesn't look too good. Er, wow, I can't even words. Doesn't look as good as the T5. It looks good, but nowhere near as good as that T5 one. I think that tier five, I'm sorry, we got, we got to go back to that tier five Terran Task Force shield for a second. I think this is the best rep, like breast. I think that was the best presentation of the Terran Task Force ship on any ship that we've done a visual review for. I just, mm, that would just look so good. This looks good, but that the t5 just set the bar like way 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 too high 
and I think it might just all be downhill from here. <laughs> Next, shield. I can't seem to find my T5 temporal shield array, uh, but here's the T6. And this one actually doesn't look too bad. Nowhere near as good as that T5 Terran Task Force shield, but yeah. Anyway, next shield. Here's the T5 Lucari shield array. Ooh, lots of Tron. That looks really good. That looks really, really good. Yeah, liking the Tron. I like the finish on the hull too. Can I just try and get that shimmer. Oh, there, see, see that shimmer? Yeah, yeah, very nice. Next shield. Here's the T6 Lucari shield array, which also works with this ship because of the, the current or uh, the default color palette. But I think the T5 looked better. I don't know. This T6 looks pretty good too. So uh, that's a hard one. Next shield. Here's the Counter Command T5 uh, shield array. The gold diamonds all over the bottom. And some more on the top. I don't think, for me personally, I don't think this shield visual works too well on this ship. Like, it's all right, but something about the diamonds just kind of breaks things up for me. I, d I can't put my finger on it, but uh, let's go to the next shield. And here is the Tier 6 Counter Command uh, Vanity Shield. So gold, diamonds. I think this one works less than the T5. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not crazy about either one, though. So, next shield. All right, here is the Gamma Rep T5 shield array. Looking pretty good, as it should. <laughs> it's, I would certainly hope so. Next shield. Here's the Tier 6 Gamma Rep shield array, and that looks phenomenal. I still think the Terran Task Force won the Battle of the Reputation Shields, though. This is a... for me, this is a close second. Actually, this right now kind of looks like the color scheme for the Type 5 um, material in the ship tailor. Huh. Not Type 5, Type 7. Yeah. Anyway, next shield. Here's the oldest Gemidar shield array <laughs> available in the game. And this is pretty much old school versus, or meets new school. And uh, I don't know how I feel. It kind of works. But yeah, I don't know. Looks like a dirty purple. Anyway, next shield. Here's the Bajor Defense Shield Array. I kind of like this one too. I mean, we already have red pinstripes going on, so not too bad. Not crazy about it, but not too bad at the same time. Uh, next shield, the br <laughs> uh, the Breen shield array. <laughs> I'm leaving that in. Normally, I would cut that something like that out, but I that um, properly expresses how I feel about this shield. Oh my gosh. Next shield. Here's the Aegis shield array. That looks pretty cool too. Subtle blue trim lighting on the underside. Get some on the back side there and some at the top. I like that. Very nice. Next shield. All right, lockbox vanity shield time. This is the Herc lockbox vanity shield. And, um, I don't know. I really, really don't know. I love the colors. 
I don't know how I feel about that alien type meshing thingy. That's as technical as I want to be. I love the color combination though. But yeah. Anyway, next shield. The Ferengi lockbox vanity shield. Not too shabby either. I don't hate it. Yeah. Next shield. The Kelvin Divergence lockbox vanity shield. It kinda... The engines look a little weird. It kind of looks like the Bizarre Collectors on the back where the engines are, to be honest. Um, I don't think it does this ship any justice. Again, I could see people liking it. Uh, for me personally, I don't know. I, I, I like contrasting colors. <laughs> Next shield. Here is the Discovery Lockbox Vanity Shield. And when I said earlier, I like contrasting colors. I don't, see, this one doesn't have... I, I don't know how to quantify what I just said. Because <laughs> I like the skin on this ship. It just it doesn't look washed out like that Kelvin one does. The Kelvin just makes everything look washed out, and it just bugs me. <laughs> Neck shield. Here's the Emperor's Vanity Shield. Also looking really good. I don't think it looks as good as the Terran Task Force. I think the Terran Task Force T5 shield array uh, will reign supreme. Oh, but right there, that color actually does look really good too. I think this one is a close second. I don't know. We haven't done Section 31 yet. We're doing that now. Ooh. Section 31 vanity shield. So far looking really good. Looking really, really, really good. Ah, man. It's hard. Jeez. The top three... For me personally, the top one is still the Terran Task Force. This and the Section 31 and the Emperor's one is taking... is tied for second. I don't care. Next shield. And the... This is the pink vanity shield. All that pink Tron. I like it. I, I like... I love seeing how many ships are out there rocking this shield. It's a... Uh, oh, look at that big thing back there. I'm going to do a visual review on that ship soon. And that is all of the shields that I have, because we're on holodeck, uh, so I don't have the baseball shields, and I don't have the Zenkethi shield on holodeck, so I do apologize, but um, I think we had a very, very good presentation of the visuals on this ship. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I, well, you, you know my thoughts on it. Uh, it is a pretty good ship. Uh, I enjoy playing with it. I don't, there's nothing I really, that just, just nothing that disappointed me during gameplay um so yeah i uh that's that uh thank you our sponsor gameprint for sponsoring this video and the channel uh thank you the viewers for coming back and watching these videos and hitting that like button because you enjoyed it right <laughs> and please if you haven't subscribed sub hit the subscribe button um i'm gonna try and keep this going as long as i can um and the ten thousand. 10,000 subscribers would be a nice goal to hit. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.